hey there. So today I have another creepy experience that I have gone through. Now, this happened when I was dropping off my cat Iggy to my mom and we were basically meeting in the middle because I was in Nebraska at college and she was in Ohio at home and I had to drop my cat off or else I wouldn't be able to keep her. She might have gotten adopted by somebody else and that was just unbearable to me. So I begged my mom, I was like, please, I don't want to lose her. I love her so much. She's great. Please meet me and let me give her to you and you can take her home and I just, I can't lose her. So please, please, please take her and we can meet in the middle. You know, I was, I was honestly going to just take an entire weekend out of my time to go to Ohio to drive 15 hours there and 15 hours back just so I can make sure that Iggy did not get adopted except by me. So my mom was like, okay, I'll meet you in the middle. I don't want you driving all that way, but make sure you have a friend with you. So Elfie came with me. Now this was pretty interesting. It was me, my mom, my sister Brianna, Iggy, and Elfie. Now it was really cool. We had a fun weekend together, but in between all of that, something pretty creepy happened. So the first night we're there, we let Iggy out and she's roaming around and then everything's great and my mom and my sister get there and we're all excited to see each other. My mom got to meet Elfie for the first time and vice versa and it was really cool because it was so chill, everybody had a great time. And then, amongst all of that happiness, something creepy happened. Iggy, who had been completely happy and go lucky and was super excited and running around, all of a sudden stopped and looked up at the bed. Now nobody was sitting there, my mom was in the corner of the room, my sister was over somewhere else, and Elfie and I were sitting over to the side on a bed, and all of a sudden Iggy just kind of stops and just looks up at the bed with his, her eyes going wide, like, and all of a sudden she just kind of crouches down and she's looking and she, she won't take her eyes off of this spot just above the bed, like where somebody would be sitting. It gives me the chills to think about it because that means Iggy saw something that we didn't see and I was confused and it really creeped me out at the moment and it was just weird. And it should have tipped me off in the beginning when I got to the room because normally I'm really uncomfortable in hotels, I can't sleep there, I don't like it, but for some reason I was actually okay in this hotel, in this room, and I was like, okay, you know, I just went with it and I fell asleep really well the three nights we were there, it was awesome, but ex these experiences kind of threw me off out of that comfortable feeling. So Iggy's sitting there and she's crouching and we're trying to talk to her and she won't look at us. She's just staring straight up at that spot, like where somebody would be if they were sitting on the bed. I just sat there. I'm like, Iggy, come on, what's wrong? You know, we tried to coax her out. We shook her food. You know, we were trying to pet her and she just, she just kept crouching. She just kept staring and it was really freaking us out. Then she got up, walked over to the desk and sat underneath it and just kept peering out. And she just looked around. She was very, she was afraid of something and we don't know what it was. She just got afraid and all of a sudden, you know, it was just, she couldn't handle it. And she went and hid behind a desk and we were like, all right, Iggy. And eventually we got her to come out and she went back to normal and everything was fine. But it was just weird because she had never acted like that before. She'd never done that. It was really out of character. It was just really strange. Anyways, that's not all though. We're in this hotel room and I'm sitting there playing my DS. Brianna's doing something with her homework. Elfie is helping Brianna. Whatever we were doing, I don't even know. But we were sitting in there just relaxing. And all of a sudden, the m and &M bag we have, it's peanut M&M's just sitting on our dresser. All of a sudden, it just flies off of the dresser and falls. And we kind of look around and it was just weird. And it wasn't just like a normal falling action. It was like something pushed it. It was weird because it wasn't just like a slow fall and then down. And it was more like just a quick thump, like somebody had pushed it off and it went right off and then fell flat really fast. All of the M&Ms went everywhere. It was creepy. I don't know how else to describe it. It was just scary because all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this M&M bag just pushed right off and just flies onto the ground and M&Ms went everywhere. And it was really creepy. My mom didn't even want us eating that bag of M&Ms. She's like, nope, it, no, we're not doing that. We are throwing those away. And it was just creepy. And I don't know. It was weird. I didn't get any weird vibes from the room, but that weird stuff that did happen did give me the creeps. And I don't know. It was interesting, but at the same time, just really strange. I can't confirm nor deny that it was haunted, but there were some suspicions because I don't know. Who knows? What do you think?
I personally think that there was something weird about that room because M&Ms don't just fly off the shelf by themselves and cats don't just freak out over nothing. Well, they can. But they don't do that kind of thing without something purposely scaring them or tipping them off. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this. I just felt that it was important to share this experience that I had. It was just a hotel out in Iowa. I don't even remember what kind of hotel it was, but it was creepy only because of those experiences. Otherwise, the hotel was nice. It was just, was it haunted? Who knows? We might never know. Anyways, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.